At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowest position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. To enter the kingdom, Jesus says, you must become like a little child. Isn't it fascinating when they asked him how to be great in the kingdom, he points to a child. He tells them, you must be small to enter the kingdom of heaven. At another time, he talks about the narrow gate. So it turns out that being small is an advantage when it comes to entering the kingdom. Obviously, we don't want to be childish, but Jesus says that being childlike is a very good thing. What do you suppose he's pointing to when he asks us to become like little children? One of the first things I think about small children is how vulnerable and authentic they are. They can run around naked without any shame. They're so delighted by what they do. If they draw a picture or try a stunt, they have no tendency for self-consciousness or self-judgment. Kind of like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, before they ate of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they were naked and unashamed, fully in love with who God was and how he had made them, how they were the same and yet different. One of the great things about children is their inclusiveness and how they engage others fully and freely. They are authentic and honest, sometimes to a fault. They say what comes to mind and they do what they feel to do with their bodies and their minds. Um, they engage each moment authentically and playfully. I believe one of the great things about children is that they live moment to moment, fully engaged in whatever occupies them, engaging it with their whole heart, with all their mind and all their strength. They love fully and freely. Children, they're playful, they're present, they engage every moment. In recent years, we've learned a lot about the concept of mindfulness. Turns out that mindfulness and childlikeness are very closely related. The concept of mindfulness has to do with being engaged moment by moment in your life in an intentional way. Children embody this so beautifully. They're ever present, ever playful. Psychiatrist Dan Siegel, who's a big hero of mine, has looked deeply into this concept of mindfulness and learned through the research that the qualities of mindfulness can be expressed through looking at the letters of the word coal. These four possibilities for mindfulness also embody the qualities of childlikeness that I think Jesus wishes for us to, to attain. The first letter of coal is C. C stands for curiosity. Children are naturally curious. They move toward unfamiliar things, always ready to take a risk and to, to uh, learn and explore new things. Curiosity overcomes fear. Fear causes us to back away from the unfamiliar. Curiosity causes us to overcome our fear and engage. As Christians, Scripture tells us that God is working in everything for our good. So it makes sense that we would be curious in each moment what God has in mind. He's always at work, and especially when times are tough, we can be curious about what God is up to. We don't know what He's up to, but we know He is up to something. The O of Cole is for openness. Children are very connected to their bodies, to their sensations, to their feelings and their thoughts. They're open to their surroundings. They're in awe of the things that they encounter and open to the playful possibilities with their friends, open 
to the loving moments that they can engage with loving adults in their lives. Openness is a quality that we can engage by learning how to tune in to our feelings, our thoughts, our emotions, our desires, our fears, and our dreams. By learning to tune in to the Spirit of God within us, to tune in to other people, to be aware of their uh, body language, their uh, tone of voice, their needs and desires. Openness is what connects us to ourselves, to God, to others, and to our world. Being fully present and open to our experience. The A of Cole is for acceptance. Children are very accepting. They don't tend to judge themselves or judge others. They accept each moment as it comes, considering fresh possibilities and accepting them as good. When we live as children, we are able to set aside judgment. Adam and Eve in the garden had it good because they naturally had the love, the grace, and acceptance of God. He warned them, though, not to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the tree that I like to call the tree of judgment or the tree of right and wrong, because he knew that that would kill their capacity to be fully accepting of one another, to experience that authentic connection, to really understand grace in a very full and free way. The Bible teaches us that Jesus came to do away with the law, to allow us to experience grace in which we find the acceptance of God. And we're told that in the same way we've been accepted, we can accept others. Cultivating acceptance, like children have, is vital for us to live in that mindful and childlike way. The final L in the word coal is for love. Yes, it's true. Looking at the research on mindfulness, people who live moment to moment, who engage life fully and freely, who live with joy and passion, are people who cultivate loving kindness toward themselves, toward others, toward God, and toward the world we live in. Love is what it's all about. We know that God is love, and if we are His children, we will embody that loving kindness, that faithfulness, that goodness, that warmth and connectivity that only He can give us. When we cultivate love, we don't have to hide out. We can engage people just where they are with compassion and dignity, with playfulness. We can be present every moment. As you think about your life with God today, ask yourself, are there ways in which I need to become like a child? Are there attributes of mindfulness and childlikeness that need to grow in me, that need to flourish for me to be able to be fully embodied, fully present, moment by moment, to be in this world as Jesus would have me? In that passage in Matthew chapter 18, Jesus says, if you receive a little one like one of these in my name, you receive me. It's such a gift to be childlike and to welcome others who adopt that humble posture. Humility is the antidote to pride and it helps us to engage. Today, let Jesus' words inspire you to set aside your need to prove your maturity or your strength and instead to engage moment by moment with love and grace. Thank you for joining us for our most recent installment of West Cliff. I want to let you know as we continue to produce content to make Jesus known to the very ends of the earth, your gifts and contributions to this ministry are greatly appreciated. It's not something you're obligated to do, it's just something that we ask that you would prayerfully consider. Thank you again for joining us and we will see you next week.